hello guys welcome to the channel so you guys know that it is jackpot season abi if you're not nigerian jackpot is like a term is a nigerian phrase for relocation yes when you leave nigeria to another country in search of greener pastures where the grass is green <laughs> many people have been saying that this is jackpot season and all that authors also argue that jackpot has been happening for a very long time that the only difference is that right now it is um more on social media people announce it on social media and there are many videos on social media saying people have left nigeria and all that now but if you ask me i think that yes there's always been this whole japa thing but um the economy of the country for the past few years because of how bad it became like the japa the need to japa became like more pressing the pressure is getting worse <laughs> and i also had somebody say that for youtubers that when you have a jackpa content and you have jackpa videos you to push out your videos more so for me i think that it's not that you to push out your videos more it is jackpa content it is that people want to watch jackpa content so when they see now that i'm traveling i'm i don't need jackpa they would want to click into that video to watch and the more people click into your video to watch the more youtube feels that oh this video is interesting people want to watch this video if people watch the video i as youtube will make money <laughs> so why would not push the video out so the the thing is when it comes to jackpa content youtube is pushing it out because people want to watch it it's just the dynamics i was just really thinking that when do you know that it's time for you to relocate i for one know that relocation is a personal journey you know if you're a family it's your family's personal journey because family a relocated and is what was good for them is what they needed to do at the point does not mean that you as family b need to relocate at that time you know but like i said the pressure is getting worse so now people are under pressure to relocate for different reasons maybe because the economy is, is doing anyhow or the country is not so safe just plenty reasons why people are choosing the jackpot route there are another group of people whose reason for relocating is the pressure the pressure of you know leaving nigeria the pressure of leaving their country this is a very valid group and you'll be shocked at the percentage of people in this group of pressure you know pressure that like, oh people are leaving oh, people are leaving somebody said something on twitter that actually i found interesting the person said that know something that relocation will not end today you know it's like if you don't relocate in 2022 that means you might never relocate you know i know that there are openings everywhere and all that but what this pressure is doing to people is that it's making people feel like if they don't leave now they will close borders countries will close borders. i know that it gets harder because i know like for countries like america now it's harder to go there and other things but you'll be shocked if one country closes another country will open if relocation is always going to be you know something that you are going to do if no other country opens you stay in your own that is open but i know that the point of this video is jackpot why am i choosing to relocate why are you choosing to relocate you know i think that it is a question people should ask themselves before they jump on this jackpot wagon you know you don't jackpot because somebody else wants to jackpot i saw a video of um there's this youtuber in uk um i think prudence at pinoco where people were talking about the fact that and um, they did not tell them well and i'm like i don't understand i don't understand what is prudence's business with the kind of decision that you're taking for your family you get prudence has shared her own experience it's like nigeria the people are here and they are bully. The people are here and they don't see some kind of chop. You understand? Every place has their struggles. So like I said, the thing is, if I want to relocate now, I have to be asking myself, why do I want to relocate? I have to know why I'm choosing to relocate. It, has, it cannot be because another person is relocating. Yes, another person's relocation and success can inspire you. Let's say you're a tech person and you are doing okay in Nigeria see somebody like that maybe study the same thing as you somebody that has the same skills as you and maybe move to the u.s the person has now become successful in a short while and the person is telling you that oh there are opportunities for tech you know there are opportunities here you can be inspired that okay i have the same education i know the same things you know i can go here and improve myself you can be inspired by somebody's jackpot but somebody jackpotting cannot be the only reason why you want to jackpot so when me i know why i'm choosing to relocate any country i relocate to you understand I know that okay i'm here on a journey and i know that maybe this journey might not be smooth initially i'm not here because somebody else was here i'm not here because i was pressured i'm here because i want to be here so whatever comes my way i'm gonna face it head on you understand i'm going to face it head on i'm not um expecting that maybe mr a 
went and things were very smooth for them or they showed me the smooth part you know i'm now excited to want to jack back and when i jack back now i'm now resentful towards mr a saying that you did not tell me this you did not tell me that like it's like pregnancy i cannot tell you what to expect if i cannot tell myself what to expect in my next pregnancy you understand everyone is different every pregnancy is different somebody's going to have a smooth first pregnancy the second one might not be so smooth you know second one might be smooth first one might not, might not be so smooth you know so i think it's a personal journey it is for your family it is personal so if you ever choose to relocate if i ever choose to relocate it has to be that i know why i want to i have asked myself why do i want to relocate why did i choose to relocate and i have answered that question to myself the reason why i have chosen to relocate and now following that answer i'm going to now embark on that journey it's a journey that's going to be a lot of miles thousands of miles you are going to go somewhere that you don't know anybody hope maybe somewhere that you don't you don't have family members there somewhere you are going to start afresh from the scratch you cannot be taking that decision based on the fact that people are pressuring you like i said you can be inspired by other people's decisions but you cannot be pressured into taking your decision you cannot also expect people who have traveled to tell you all the struggles that they face we see people on social media when they even tell us their struggle we say that they are disturbing us now there's a trend on instagram uk people start telling us your wahala their face your uk let us face our nigeria you know people now don't even want to hear the struggles that uk people are going through so you see that's the thing people don't want to hear your struggles but if a uk person comes down and say i got a job in in two days i did this in five days you want to hear those successes but when the UK person comes there, oh, or the person in Canada tells you, ah, I was under the snow working for about three hours, you're like, be in your snow. And most times, this is the reason why they don't want to also tell you their struggles. And it's also sweeter to share your victories. So you see why people will not really share their struggles with you. Don't travel, don't relocate, expecting to have the exact same experience as somebody has shown you online. Or somebody has told you about the phone or your classmates has told you oh come oh it's like in two days i got a job in one day i got a house everything just worked for me you might go and you might be lucky it works for you that way but it's better for you to go with the expectation that you are on this journey alone it's a personal journey because you are going alone as a personal journey that's the more reason why you have to know why am i going why am i choosing to relocate what is the after what is the plan what is the bigger picture? Is it to go and pepper them? Is it to go and snap fine picture? Is it to go and snap with fine cloud? <laughs> Even though that's a plus. <laughs> my baby is laughing, oh. My baby. Yeah? You're laughing. You have to know what is in the bigger picture for you to be able to make the right decision for yourself. Knowing that it's a personal journey, knowing that it's a personal decision on why you want to relocate, why I'm choosing to relocate, will help you. In fact, it will help you choosing the country you want to go to, the city you want to live in, what you want to do, how long you want to achieve stuff. All those things will now fall into place gradually. But never because of pressure. Never. Because if the pressure is getting worse out here, and you use that worse pressure to jack back, the pressure is worse out there too. Because now when you go there, you have to prove to people that you left here that things are working there for you. So what if things are not working there for you? You're under another pressure. So that is why from here, before you hop on that plane, drop the pressure with the people here. You understand? Drop it. So when you go there, you can be able to face your path and, you know, navigate your own way, create your own road. You can be able to do all those for yourself because you have left pressure. The one reason why you should never relocate is because of pressure. That's the one reason why you should never relocate. In fact, it's the only reason why I think you should not even relocate. You cannot make a life-changing decision based off pressure. Then that pressure will never stop. It will never end. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. If you relocated, why did you choose to relocate? If you relocated with your family, what was the thing that, what was that one thing, if you can share with us, that made you know that, okay, it is time for us to leave. Did you also relocate because of pressure? If you did, how has it been going so far? Was it a good decision? Was it a bad decision? Please share with us in the comment section. I want to know. And I'm sure that because of this jackpot pressure in the society, somebody, one or two people might be able to learn, you know, from your comments. You guys, please share with me in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Please share. Please subscribe if you've not subscribed. I'm going to see you in my next video. Until then, stay safe and be kind. Bye.